Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 38-year-old male who fell about a month ago, has had continued pain. This is a wrist MRI, and we see here on this gradient echo sequence that the scaphoid bone is over here. This is the lunate bone, and there's wide separation between these two bones. So the scapholunate ligament, which comes along the undersurface here, is torn, and it allows for this uh, interspace to widen. And when this happens, the capitate bone can migrate proximally down through this and push these out of the way and cause abnormal position and rotation of the scaphoid bone and lunate bone, which we'll see. And we'll also look over here for the lunato-trichetral ligament, which is along the bottom here. That looks like it's intact and normal relationship here. Now we're going to go to a sagittal view. Now in this view we see the radius. We see the capitate bone here. They're about a normal uh, in orientation relative to one another. Maybe the capitate bone may be slightly posteriorly subluxed, but the lunate bone is abnormal. Instead of a nice cup that's facing straight forward, it looks like it's tilted dorsally. So this is dorsal tilt of the lunate bone. And there's an angle but, uh, from the lunate bone that's going backwards here. The angle between the lunate bone and the capitate bone should be less than 30 degrees. In this patient, it's more than 30 degrees. This angle is about 35 degrees, and they call this the... Uh, capitolunate angle here, and the scapholunate angle, which is the angle between the uh, lunate bone and the scaphoid bone here, should be less than 60 degrees. This is greater than 90 degrees, or at least 90 degrees here. So this is abnormal too. So when this happens, the uh, lunate, I'm sorry, the scaphoid bone here, instead of being more obliquely oriented, like 45 degrees, it becomes horizontal like this, and also the lunate bone will tilt backwards. So this angle increases this direction. And the scaphoid increases this direction. Again, if that angle is greater than 60 degrees, uh, that's abnormal. So the combination of these findings, a proximally migrated capitate bone with widening of the scaphoid interspace, dorsal tilt to the lunate bone, and these abnormal angles all go with the diagnosis of dorsal intercalated segmental instability, which is DISI. Now with this over time, there's abnormal pressure on these bones, especially the lunate bone, and you can get what we call a slack wrist, scapholunate advanced collapse, and you get remodeling and degenerative changes that are severe within the scaphoid and lunate bones. And then again, that's called a slack wrist associated with this DISI. And that's it. Thank you very much.